God for the presence of mine to go back home and get some water. <laughs> my name is Monique Powers and I'm a mobile esthetician with a cosmetology and manicuring license. In 2020, I closed both of my studios and moved my business into a custom built van I named Azalea. Take a peek at my version of van life, my personal life, and my vacations in between. Okay, you guys, before you watch my video, I just want to clear something up. Uh, two days ago, I did shoot a YouTube short. It was called um, the best 12 volt water heater for van life. And the video that you're about to see was actually shot six weeks ago. And I never hold on to videos this long. But my March Madness challenge that I just made up for myself to do to shoot a YouTube short every single day, pushed this video to today, unfortunately. And my YouTube short regarding this water heater should have actually, I should have actually shown it after today's video. But I didn't because I was just super excited to share about this water heater. So don't get confused about that YouTube short with me raving about the water heater. Um, it, what you're about to see is a little bit out of order, but um, my, my claims and my praise about the water heater uh, remains the same and it is genuine. Okay, so without further ado, I hope you enjoy my video. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It's 6.30 in the morning. I'm on my way to get my faucet looked at because it's not working. Um, the water's not coming out. And my water heater also is not working, which I could have fixed on my own. I don't know if you guys remember, it was an easy fix. I had um, the guys that converted my van take a look at it and fix it. We actually just went on YouTube and figured it out. So anyway, for a while, the the heater, the water heater has not been working and now the faucet's not working. So I'm gonna drive over there. I have to be there around eight o'clock. And um, yeah. Oops, let me move this camera over. That this way. That way, you're not gonna fall down. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Getting back to what I was saying. <laughs> um. I was scheduled to do a facial, and um, normally when the water heater is not working, I'll just bring a thermos full of hot water. And. I almost forgot the thermos. Actually, I did forget the thermos and I had time to go back home to get the thermos. Well, first I wasn't gonna get the thermos. I'm thinking, okay, um, I'm just gonna use cold water. They probably won't really feel it because they're under the steam. It'll be quick. <laughs> um, but anyway, I had time to go get the thermos and um, thank God I did because when I was preparing for the facial and to get the water and everything, that's when I discovered I had no water. So it's a good thing that I did bring the thermos with me full of water. I always bring more than I need. So that was a good thing because um, if I did not do that, I would have had to cancel the appointment and not even sure if I could have rescheduled it because it was a client that doesn't even live in town. Whenever she's in town, she comes to get a facial. So, um, I thank God for the presence of mind to go back home and get some water. <laughs> And, and the water heater's not working <laughs> either. Yeah, you got power though, right? Yeah, you got yeah, lights, yeah. Obviously. yeah. Mm -hmm. so... That water heater stopped working like about two weeks after we fixed it. Again? Uh-huh. Did you have to reset it? 
I didn't. <laughs> I, I know how, you know, since we went on YouTube, but I didn't try to uh, restart it. That sounds promising. Something just got loose, you think? Oh, I think the cables are loose. Oh. Yeah, the cables are loose. Okay, let me, uh, let me fix it right here. Okay. Okay, we're all done, and lucky for me, it was only loose cables. <laughs> so, um, that's so much better than it being like the water pump or some bad fuse or anything like that. But that's the thing that happens, um, you know, traveling at 65 miles plus, usually, if I'm on the freeway. Um, things, you know, over time get loose and it has been four years. So I'm really lucky that I haven't had any leaks when it's been raining and honestly, really no problems with um, the van. Now everything is custom made in the van with the exception of one little cabinet that I put in here, which I'll show you guys because, <laughs> um, it's all loose. I need to like glue it back together. <laughs> so that's the only thing that I'm going to do. So today is going to be a day of just fixing some things and I'm going to fix that cabinet. So let me pay attention to the road and get to where I need to be so I can glue this thing back together. <laughs> Okay, let me show you this cabinet. Okay, so let me unhook this first so we can move the chair. Move this chair. Actually, we'll just put that right there. All right, so here is the cabinet that I got from Home Depot, I believe. And I had to put these baby locks on there because the drawer kept opening when I was driving. see how it's <laughs> loose right there I need to glue that back together so I need to do that and then um, I'm not sure about this door here it's a little loose a little bit I don't think I want to glue it right now until it's really bad but I think I'll just leave it um, for now you see how it's kind of actually it's attached to the wall here so that's why it does it tip over when I'm driving but um, you know what this actually has a magnet um, right here it's supposed to keep the door um, closed but it doesn't because again the van is moving at such a high rate of speed and this cabinet is not meant to be in a vehicle so um, actually let me undo that because I'm actually going to glue that so yeah, um, that's a cabinet that I'm just gonna glue right now. Okay, so let's grab this glue here. I actually don't even really like this glue. I've used it before. I'm probably doing something wrong, but this is what we're gonna use. So I'm just gonna pour just a little bit. And probably maybe use um, a Q-tip, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put this 
on the floor in case I spill something. In case, in case it drips. Let's just put that right there. And we'll put that right there. Let me grab some Q-tips. Just have a seat here. I really should take this drawer out, but it's not going to come out. So, what am I doing here? Maybe just a little bit right there. I poured way too much, <laughs> too much in here. I don't even need all of this. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep this drawer open. I'm gonna be here for a while, so I can just leave it open so I'm not gluing and then immediately taking off. Okay, you guys, so while that's <laughs> drying, I actually have some computer work to do. So I'm gonna end this video here because I don't want it to be too long. In the next video, I'm going to be building some things and painting, so you don't wanna miss that. So enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Take care.